Hi everyone and welcome to another recipe video and today I'm making the brunch favourite shakshuka. It's super popular in Middle Eastern countries but actually has origins in North Africa and even though it looks and tastes amazing and you often have to pay an arm and a leg for it at brunch cafes etc especially in London it's actually really easy to make and apart from a little salt and pepper these are pretty much the main ingredients right here. So let's go! First we're going to smash and chop 4 cloves of garlic. I love garlic, I probably use a couple of bulbs every week, and I never trust those recipes that are like, just use one clove. One clove, what does that do? And uh, for the sharp eyed, yes I'm using my old knife, this was an old video, <laughs> before I destroyed it making the coconut pudding. Now it's onion chopping time, so I'm going to grab my onion goggles so I don't cry because my eyes hate onions, although I love eating them. And I'm just chopping up one yellow onion here. My eyes are pathetically weak, they really do burn like heck when I chop onions, so the goggles really do help me. My eyes even stream when there's a little bit of cold wind, not just like a little bit of tearing up here and there, I mean properly crying when there's a bit of wind, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, I'm going to chop this onion into relatively small pieces, but it can be quite rough because it's all going to turn into a delicious mush anyway. And I've got to say, I do not miss this old knife, I'm kind of glad that I did break it so I could splash out on another one. Uh, now you can see how blunt it is, it's really awful. So yeah, even if you do have a good knife, be careful. Yeah, a good knife is just as dangerous as a bad knife because a bad knife as you can see can slip and a good knife is obviously extremely sharp so whatever sharp implement you're using be careful. Now I'm going to chop up a red pepper and this is a bell pepper so it's not spicy but don't worry spice lovers we are going to add a little bit of spice in a minute. So I'm just getting rid of this fibrous stuff and this is the method I use it's nice and quick and easy. And you could use any coloured bell pepper, I suppose, green, yellow, orange. I just like red because the whole theme of shakshuka is red. But any would do, although green is a bit less sweet, so I would recommend red, orange or yellow. Now we're going to bust out a medium spicy chilli, and I'm going to chop this up and use the seeds inside as well, because I like mine punchy. But you can choose to remove the seeds, or remove the seeds and with a less spicy chilli, or not have any chilli at all, it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to fry all of this in some extra virgin olive oil. And this is why it's handy to prepare all your vegetables first before you start cooking because then you can do it all in one go. So I'm just going to saute this until it's softened a bit. And uh, I am going to add the chilies now and the peppers. You can do it all in one go, I just decided to start just with the onions to start off with. Fun fact, the official French culinary term for when you prepare stuff before you cook is called mise en place, which means putting in place. Once everything starts to soften after about 5-10 minutes I'm going to add 2 teaspoonfuls of smoked paprika and this is the sweet variety but if you want even more spice you can always use a spicy variety. And now I am very violently trying to add 1 teaspoonful of ground cumin. Some people don't add cumin and that's fine but absolutely do not miss that smoked paprika. Then we're going to give it a good stir just to make sure all of those lovely spices are incorporated throughout those veggies. And now we're going to add one full tin of tomatoes. These ones I'm using a whole, as you can see. You can also use chopped ones, it doesn't matter, it all turns into mush in the end. But if you're using whole ones, just use a spatula to break them down a bit and chop them up like this. Now we're seasoning with a little bit of salt to taste, just use your judgement. And adding plenty of freshly ground black pepper. Now lower the heat down a smidge, cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes until it's all nice and soft. Halfway through I like to give it a stir just to make sure that it doesn't stick at the bottom and as you can see it's already looking gorgeous. Now once those 20 minutes are up it will be nice and thick. Now we're going to crack our eggs in so I'm creating three wells just like this and in this case I am cracking in three. You can do about two to four in this sort of size pan. It depends on how hungry you're feeling or if you're sharing. Lastly, making sure you don't leave any eggshells in the pan, you're going to cover it again and let those eggs poach for about 8 minutes or until they're done to the consistency you like. I like set egg whites but runny egg yolks. And once that's done you're going to want to serve it hot. Add your own favourite toppings, I like to add a little bit of fresh coriander and a dollop of full fat Greek yoghurt. Some people like to add grilled halloumi, feta cheese, chorizo and mergue sausage, which is a spicy North African sausage made with beef or lamb. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll join me next Wednesday for my next one and I'm really looking forward to it because it's going to be a Christmassy one. Get the full recipe on my blog tashcakes.com and find me on Instagram as tashcakestastes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Give this video a like if you liked it to help other people find it. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular and I'll see you guys later. Be good, be nice 
and have a good week.